Hi guys, this is Nick Berardi and we're going to continue with our boot camp series. I hope you're enjoying it. Today what we're going to do is we're going to be doing a layered bob. And again, we're going to be watching our finger position, our sectioning, and hopefully you're working along with me doing this video. So again, get yourself a doll head and a nice stand, no clamps on the stations, and we'll be working together. So let me get my doll shampooed. So we're back here with our doll head, she's shampooed, and we're gonna first cut our bob shape in because it is a layered bob. But the thing is, since she's gonna have layers in her hair, we're not gonna get so in depth cutting this haircut in a bob. Hey, just figure you were in the salon and you're working on your clients and she wants her hair in a, a, a bob that's layered. The last thing you wanna do is spend an hour on the bob and then an hour layering it and she's there for two hours. So you need to be really efficient in cutting the outline shape. So my sections are a little bit thicker. You could see starting in the back, um, right over the occipital bone. And there's actually two ways you can approach this. You can hold it in your fingers and cut in your fingers. And you'll get a bit of a slight graduation that way. Remember, it's very difficult to cut on the skin with a doll head. Uh, so that one of the better ways is either in your fingers or you comb with the spine of the comb down. Keep the spine, they don't want to have this up. Just spine of the comb completely facing towards you. Comb and then you'll cut across. So that's one way to do it that you'll get less graduation that way and your fingers. Now, the thing you need to be focused on when you're cutting a bob is always keeping the angle of the scissors slightly down. Always slightly down with the points down. What that will do is it will assure you of making sure your line's straight. Sometimes when the scissors are, tips are up, what starts to happen is you round it off. But we'll go into that even a little bit more in depth as we go along. So let's start with our first section. Combing, very little tension, and I'm gonna come halfway about two inches from the base. And I'm angling the tips of my scissors down. Always thinking of working slightly down. Now this is slightly down. This isn't doing an A-line shape. Working from the profile of the haircut now, notice I'm standing right in front of the profile and slightly down. 